cycloalkanes have the general formula CnH2n. The following table shows the root names of cycloalkanes. Note that the primary suffix is "-ane", as usual, because there is no unsaturation. Monosubstituted cycloalkanes. Here, there is no need for numbering the carbon atoms of the cycloalkane. When two cycloalkanes are attached to each other, then the cycloalkane having the lower number of carbon atoms is taken as the substitute. The following compound is called a cyclopentyl cyclohexane. But when two cycloalkanes of the same size are attached with each other, for example, if two cyclopentane rings are attached with each other, then it is called 1-1-bicyclopentyl. When a cycloalkane is attached to an acyclic substituent of higher number of carbon atoms, then the cycloalkane becomes the substituent. So this compound is named cyclopentyl hexane. However, according to new UPAC rules, the cycloalkanes is always given the priority of being the parent chain, even if it has lesser number of carbon atoms. So according to new rules, the compound is named hexyl cyclopentane. When the attached acyclic part contain a functional group, then the cycloalkane is taken as the substituent. Here, the acyclic part has the OH group, so it is named 2-cyclopentyl-2-propanol or 2-cyclopentyl-propan-2-ol. When the attached acyclic part is complex enough to be named as a substituent, then the cycloalkane is taken as the substituent. Here, the acyclic part is complex enough to be named as a substituent, so the compound is named as 5 cyclohexyl pent one in 3 i when a phenyl group is attached to a cycloalkane having less or equal to 6 carbon atoms, then the cycloalkane is taken as the substituent. This is cyclohexyl benzene and this compound is phenyl cycloheptane. Polysubstituted cycloalkanes. When there is more than one substituent, then two things are to be done. Number one, numbering the carbon atoms of the cycloalkane. Numbering should be done such that at least one substituent gets the number one. The numbering may be done clockwise or counterclockwise. Numbering to be done in such a way that the rule of point of first difference is obeyed. Here, this numbering arrangement is taken because the second number is lowest in this case. When two substituents are at equivalent positions, then the alphabetically prior substituent gets the lower number. The UPAC name of this compound is 1-ethyl-2-methyl-cyclobutane and not this. While writing the names of substituents before the root word, we should properly alphabetize them. The UPAC name of this compound is 1-ethyl-3-methyl-2-propyl-cyclopentane. Number two, take into account the issue of stereoisomerism. Except cyclopropane, no other cycloalkane have all the carbon atoms in a single plane. This is cyclopropane. This is cyclobutane. This is cyclopentane. And this is cyclohexane. In cyclohexane, the most stable chair conformation is shown. There are six axial CH bonds colored yellow and six equatorial CH bonds colored red. Note that if we imagine a rough plane of the ring like this, then three equatorial and three axial bonds lie above the plane and three equatorial bonds and three axial bonds lie below the plane. This chair form readily flips into another form and is called chair flip in which this carbon which is the headrest become the footrest and this carbon which is the footrest become the headrest just like this. After the flip, the axial bonds become equatorial bonds and vice versa. Note very carefully that the bonds that were above the plane of the ring are still above it and the bonds that were below the plane of the ring are still below it. Therefore, it is fair enough to imagine 
a substituent's position to be either above or below the plane of the ring. When two substituents are on the same side of the plane, then it is a cis isomer. Otherwise, it is a trans isomer. When there is a more complex situation, then the substituent having the lowest locant is taken as the reference orientation and is labeled R, followed by a dash and then the locant number. This specifies its geometry as well as position. The other substituents which are on the same side of the reference substituent are labeled C coming from cis and the substituents on the other side of the reference substituent are labeled T coming from trans. Cycloalkenes containing double bond should be numbered in such a way that the two carbons of the double bond gets the number 1 and 2. The rest of the substituents are numbered keeping in mind the rule of point of first difference. So this compound is named 1-ethyl-5-methyl cyclopentene and not 2-ethyl-3-methyl cyclopentene. When there is a functional group like the hydroxyl group, then it should get the lowest locant and not the double bond. So this compound is named cyclohex-2-in-1-all or simply 2-cyclohexenol and not 3-hydroxycyclohexene. Naming cycloalkadienes. Look at this compound. In this compound, the double bonds should get the lower locant. So it is a 1,4 diene rather than 1,6 diene. So these two options are discarded. Now out of these two, this one is taken due to the rule of first point of difference. Therefore, UPAC name is 6 allyl 1,4 cyclooctadiene. When there is a double bond in which only one carbon atom double bond is a part of the ring or parent chain as you may say, and the other carbon atom the double bond is not part of the ring, then the compounds are named as follows. 